Hey everybody, what's up, what's up? It's Misha. Today I wanna to talk to you about scorpion stings and how to treat them. You know, if you call 911 and poison control and you determine that this scorpion does not, this scorpion sting does not need to be treated at the hospital, you don't need anti-venom, they'll tell you, stay home and put ice on it. And it's like, that's all? <laughs> so I have a treatment for you guys that will seriously help you out. Stay tuned, I'll tell you all about it. Okay, everybody, sad news that if you're watching this video, um, either you're really just interested, which that's great, <laughs> or you live around scorpions, maybe you've been stung by a scorpion and you're trying to figure it out. Whatever the case is, I'm sorry for those circumstances. I experienced a lot of unnerving circumstances too when I moved into this house. Um, we had a smidge of a warning that there were scorpions around, but we kind of didn't really know the gravity um, of, of what we were dealing with. Uh, when we moved in, we found like three live ones in our living space within like 24 hours, and that was scary. So we kind of learned that a black light will light up scorpions at night and you can <laughs> check your bed to see if your bed is safe or your kids rooms and that kind of a thing. Um, and you can take it outside and see what the traffic is like outside. The first night we had our black light, we had lived here for about a week and we went outside with our black light and I seriously felt like my skin was crawling off of my body. It was so gross. We found 26 scorpions. Super, super creepy, scary, yucky. It was just so sad. We got on it, we called, um, we, we called and had a bug treatment guy come. I can go outside now and uh, black light and only find like one, maybe, every night, maybe. Obviously, listen, scorpions can live for a year with no food and water. That's gross, you guys. That's so disgusting. Um, maybe even longer. Those buggers, we found one in Arizona and my husband put it underwater for two weeks and he thought it was completely dead. He dumped the water out and the scorpion started moving around. Ugh, so gross. Today I wanted to share with you something that I did when my son was stung um, that seriously like saved the day. So I'm gonna show you what I did. The day he got stung, we were outside and we were playing on the trampoline, water everywhere. We had friends over. We were having food and a picnic kind of a thing. It was just a fun summer day. He was on the grass. There was a bucket that I had brought over that had been underneath a tree and it had some leaves in the bottom of it and I just rinsed that out. I think that's where the scorpion came from. Um, he was over by my nephew that was like splashing around in the water and he started just screaming like blood curdling scream. And I ran over to him, picked him up and he was screaming that he'd been stung by a scorpion. And that was super like fight or flight mode, super scary. I scooped him up, brought him into the kitchen, laid him out on the countertop. And these are the things, these are the steps that I took. I first went to the fridge. And in the fridge, I have a product called Stings and Bites by Dr. Christopher's. It lasts a long time. We've had this for a long time. The, the outside has even worn away a little bit. Um, after you open it, you keep it in the fridge. So I grabbed that out because it's ready to go and I put it on him. Then I gave him the proper dose of Benadryl and ibuprofen. And then I took the time to, to mix up this diatomaceous earth, okay? And this is this stuff is awesome. You can use it for all kinds of things. It's sort of a powdery substance, okay? I'll link below um, the places where you guys can grab these. If you want, you can also find them at the health food store, that kind of a thing. And I mixed it up. I poured some into a bowl. I added some water and I mixed it up into a paste. And then I wiped the stings and bites off of him because it's a little bit greasy. And I applied the, the mud, okay? That's what it looks like, it's just like this mud. And I applied it to the scorpion's sting. And it kind of helps, as it dries, it helps suck out the venom. By this time, of course, like Tice had completely calmed down and was doing so much better. It was so great. And we took him back outside and just let it dry and let all of that mud dry. And as it dried, I let it just flake off. Then I put another layer of stings and bites on it. And you guys promise you within like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, he was playing. He was just jumping on the tramp with the kids again. And he was really was doing pretty okay. 
So, um, and by the next day, um, usually scorpion stings can just make your whole leg numb or wherever you get them, it just makes that whole area numb for a few days to a week. All right, Tice, we're sitting here with Tice. We're gonna interview him about his foot. Yesterday, he was stung by a scorpion. And? Where was it, Tice? Okay. So this little point right here is where the scorpion stung, okay? Tice, tell us how your foot feels right now. It, you can sit the down. The pain went all, went all the way down here, went the, right the, here. The pain went down here, okay? Yeah, and then it's like numb right now. Okay, it's numb right now? And it doesn't hurt. It's numb, but it doesn't hurt. Tell me what part is numb, how much of it is? Just this part. Just right there? Yeah. So is it numb up your leg? No. Is it numb on these toes? No. Is, can you feel this? Can Barely. you feel that? Barely, okay. Barely because it's like. Okay, Ty, so it's kind of feels like asleep, but it's not yeah. tangling. That's a good description, okay. Okay, so pretty happy about no pain, right, Tice? Yeah. Yeah, so, all right. I was really grateful for the method. Recently, I had a call from a mama in our neighborhood and her little girl had been stung three times in the shower. I love little people. Can you just adore her writing for just a minute? Medicine, ah, oh, love her. Anyway, I ran over there, helped her, did the same remedy, and the aftermath was the same for her. She popped back out of it. She was, she was doing fine very quickly and didn't experience a lot of, um, of numbing and that kind of a thing for the days following. So I am spreading the news to you guys in hopes that it helps. Now keep in mind, I am not a medical professional. You need to call 911 if you see things like muscle twitching, shortness of breath, like eyes kind of fluttering because there are some scorpions that you have to be treated for in the hospital. Um, there's a whole list of other things that you, you can watch for, so look those up, call 911 or poison control or something like that, and you can figure that out. If you're pretty sure it's a, it's a scorpion sting that doesn't need to be treated, I got you. I got your back. This is, this is awesome, and I recommend that if you live somewhere um, where you see scorpions often that you just have this on hand. I seriously feel like these two things, I don't know, honestly, I don't know if it's the combination of the two. If any of y'all are interested in trying just one or the other, let me know the results. I would love to know, um, just because obviously I live in this area and have to be kind of at the ready all the time. Um, but if you guys find that diatomaceous earth works over Dr. Christopher's stings and bites or vice versa, let me know. I would love to also let all of you guys know after I figure that out. But to be honest, if I get stung, I'm doing both. <laughs> I'm not taking a chance. I know, I know what works and that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway, good luck to all of you. Let me know your scorpion experiences. Please let me know if you have something else that you think works fantastic or if you try this and it works for you. If you try one or the other, I would love to know. Leave it in the comments below. If this video helped you, please like it. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. I would love to continue helping you make life better living. See y'all.